Hey guys, how you doing? About a month and a half ago, I installed this Dometic RTX 2000 air conditioner. And when I installed it, I didn't hook up the electrical because I didn't have my electrical installed yet. So I, it was just the, the installation that I showed. But I had a lot of questions from people about how it worked and how much energy it drew and how did it cool the van down. And so um, I've had some, some delays waiting for parts, but I finally got everything in, got my entire electrical system set up and I hooked up the air conditioner. And I have to tell you, I'm amazed at how well this um, air conditioner works. Uh, this is not a sponsored post. Um, I paid full price for this um, air conditioner. It's about $2,700 plus shipping and everything. We'll put you right at about $3,000. Um, is it worth it? If you live in a hot climate or you travel to places that are hot, I think it's a no-brainer. I really think it's worth it. The install is really pretty easy. It's no more difficult than installing a fan in your roof. You just cut the hole, install it, um, and then it comes with all the wiring. Big, It's a big cable um, that is, um, I think it's six, six gauge wire in here. And it run, so I've run it down. I've run it um, to a separate breaker, a 60 amp breaker. And they actually um, include a fuse with it, but I decided to go with the breaker. So it really comes with everything you need to install it other than um, like a sealant, like window weld or something like that. That's what I use as window weld. But anyway, I, I wanted to give a demonstration of how this works. So I wanted to show you, first of all, it's I'm in the shade. It's in the evening. It's about five o'clock in the evening and the sun's gone down. Um, and so I'm not... Uh, Let's see, I'm, my, I'm at a full charge and my um, solar panels are not really getting any direct sunlight. And so this is gonna be a good um, test of, of how well this works and how much energy it draws. So I just wanna show you, it is 90 degrees right now. I'm, I'm in Highland, Utah and 90 degrees, it's uh, inside the van, it's 95. Look at this little uh, thermometer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this air conditioner with a timer and we, we're going to see how long it takes to cool down to a comfortable temperature from 95 degrees and then how much energy it draws to do that. So to turn it on, you just hit this power button. Okay, so you can probably hear it starting up now. So like I said, I've got it set on 70 degrees and it's just starting up and uh, it's not really pulling much because it's just the fans. It's pulling about 32 watts or um, 2.3 amps. What's the AC actually kicks in in a minute or two, then it'll start pulling more. But it's already blowing fairly cool air I mean, it is just stifling in here. It's 95 degrees and it's hot right now. So this will be a good test to see how well this works. All right, now we can hear the actually air conditioner start to kick on. So now it's pulling 250 watts. I can hear up on the roof the, the compressor, I guess it would be, starting to go. So now, if you can see that, it's pulling about 300, 373 watts and um, about 28 amps. So like I said, it's on auto. So it's blowing really nice cold air out right now. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set a timer and I'm going to set my camera up showing this temperature and also um, the timer. And we'll just see how it does, how long it takes to get down to, you know, 75 degrees or so. So we'll see how it goes.
So you can see it's been exactly an hour that the air conditioner has been running and it's now 84 degrees outside. It was 90 when we started, so it's cooled off a little bit, <clears throat> but inside the van was 95. Right now it's 77 degrees. So it's cooled it from 95 down to 77 in an hour. I think that's actually pretty amazing. Now, power wise, I've got four, 540 amp hours of batteries. I have two um, Battleborn GC3 batteries, which are, um, 270 um, amp hours each. So it's only drawn my batteries down from 100% down to 93% in an hour. Um, right now it's still using about 472 watts or 36 amps, which is pretty much what it's been doing the, the entire time. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna kick it down to eco mode because now that it's, it's really a very comfortable temperature. Um, when I first turned it on, it was unbearable. I mean, in five minutes, I was just dripping with sweat. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna turn it to eco mode, because we are at 77 degrees in here. Um, we'll just see what that does to the amps and the watts. And so now, so already it's dropped from 475 down to 275 watts and from about 35 amps down to about 21 amps. So it seems like it's running pretty steady at about 21 amps and um, right around 275 to 280 uh, watts. So if it was during the day, you know, your, your solar panels would pretty much be able to keep up with this. But at night, with when your solar panels aren't charging, if you're not plugged into shore power, um, right now, this is saying that I could go about 10 hours um, on my battery, so pretty much could let it run all night. So I'm going to let this go for another hour, and we'll just see how it does, if it keeps um, things here at uh, 75 degrees where we were. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it works in another hour in, in eco mode. So I've had this running now in eco mode for about um, half an hour. My timer's on a hour and 25 um, I paused it for about five minutes so we're we've been going for about an hour and a half so an hour in auto and that dropped it from 95 down to 77 and in eco mode it's pretty much just held it right at 77 so I would say that eco mode is really good like for overnight once you get it to the temperature you want just to hold it uh, the nice thing about eco mode is that it doesn't use very much um, of your battery power. This has been right out about 21 amps or about 275, 280 watts is what it's been drawing. So you can see that I've used, I've used about 9% of my battery power in an hour and a half, um, running about 21, 22 amps been right between 21 and 22 and about 275 to 300 watts um, it's estimating that at this rate I could run for about 10 and a half hours and so you know I could run this all night if you have five or six hundred amp hours of batteries um, lithium batteries you're gonna be able to I think run this all night in eco mode if you have maybe three or four hundred amp hours you may only be able to run it for maybe just a few hours to cool things down um, I would probably recommend that you would want at least 400 amp hours and preferably five or 600 um, if you're going to use this battery. But I think you could get by with three or 400. So what I'm going to do now, because yeah, I can tell this is not going to drop the temperature. It's really comfortable in here. If you were sleeping, um, you could have that air blowing on you. It'd be super comfortable. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to just kick it up to boost mode just for like 10 minutes and just see what it does on the amperage. Okay, so it's in boost now, and I can hear it kind of ramping up. So we're at an hour and 26. I'm gonna let this go for about 10 minutes like this and just see what it does to the temperature. Um, but you can see that we've, we're now using about 41 amps and 540 watts. So in auto mode, it was using about 475 watts and I think about 35 amps, and now it's up to about 40 amps and 534. So it just uses a little bit more than the auto. I could see using boost mode maybe when you first turn it on, if it's really hot, maybe for 20 or 30 minutes, just to kind of get the temperature down, and then you'd probably turn it to auto or the eco mode. 
but even at this rate it's saying I can go for six hours um, on my batteries and you know I'm not running anything else right now so that would be best case scenario um, but you could definitely use this to get things cooled down and, and then turn it to eco mode and really be able to, to go all night so we're gonna let that go now for about 10 minutes and just see uh, see what it does okay so we've been going for about 10 minutes in boost mode and it's dropped the temperature from 77 to 73 so that's pretty dang good um, it it's using right at about 40 amps and about 525 watts so it's it's ranged I think up to like 575 um, and like 41 amps but you know even in boost it's not bad um, it'll get your temperature down pretty quick and then you can turn it to auto or to eco mode and um, it's you know it's not probably gonna keep your van if it's 90 or 100 degrees it's not gonna keep your van at 68 but it's gonna drop it down to a comfortable temperature. Um, 73 in here right now feels really good because the air is blowing on me. Um, if you, and you, the vents are adjustable, so you could um, blow them right onto the bed if you want. If you were sleeping or if you're sitting, you can blow it right up here. All right, so just checking back one final time. So uh, it's been going now, you see, just exactly two hours. So I went for the first hour in auto mode and then I went for 30 minutes in eco mode and that just maintained the temperature, didn't drop it at all. Then I did boost for 10 minutes and that dropped it quite a bit. In 10 minutes, it dropped it from um, 77 degrees down to 73 degrees. Then I set it to auto and it's been on auto for about 15, 20 minutes. And you can see we're at 72 degrees. Really comfortable in here. It's still 85 degrees outside. And I just want to show you. So at this point, I've got it to a really comfortable temperature of 72. And um, so I'm ch switching it over to eco mode. And that's how I would leave it now in the evening um, when, you know, we're getting, you know, hanging out in the van and getting ready to go to bed. And so it's telling me that I'm using about 20 amps, which is right where it was earlier when I was in Eco, about 275 watts. And so far in running this for a little over two hours, I've drawn my battery from 100% down to 86%. So the way I see using this is using it in either auto or boost mode for maybe 30 to 45 minutes to get the temperature down um, and then turning it to Eco and that'll hold the temperature really nicely. In an eco mode, you can see right now, um, it's only pulling about 21 amps, 275 watts, and it's estimated that I could run it for nine and a half hours. Um, you know, so if I was at a full battery and ran it full on auto for an hour, would, would probably use about 8% of my batteries, and then I'd be able to go all night easily, 10 or 12 hours in eco mode. And so I think it's a great option. I'm excited to use this out in the wild and we'll see you in the next video.